Hi, I'm Cho from The Clean Handbook and today we're going to talk about how we can combat sugar cravings. Sugar is everywhere, it's not just in your obvious foods like chocolate, crisps and donuts. It's in your everyday items too, like bread, milk, cereal, the gel spaghetti sauce that you've got, condiments that you use every day, so tomato sauce, mayonnaise, salad cream. So for instance, you may wake up in the morning and you have a bowl of cereal or you might have a slice of toast with a glass of orange juice then you make your lunch up for the day so chicken breast and salad and then you pour a little bit of mayonnaise or salad cream with it you work in an office it's somebody's birthday and they've brought in buns and cakes and you think oh i'll just have one it's just one little treat it's fine you go home after a long day the last thing you want to do is cook you throw some mince in a pan that jar of ready-made sauce and you eat that. You're nice and full, you're tired, you want to sit down and relax, put your feet up with a glass of wine. All these little things add up and they leave you craving more. Sugar is addictive. We eat it, we like it, we want more. What happens when we eat sugar is it releases serotonin into the bloodstream. Serotonin is a natural mood stabiliser. We tend to eat it at times of comfort and reward and we eat cakes and buns at times of celebration, such as birthdays and special occasions. What happens when you eat these foods and have a sugar rush is it triggers an increase in insulin as glucose levels try to regulate and go back to normal. This then causes a crash, which makes you crave more sugar. This can then lead to unhealthy binge eating. So my first tip to you is clearing out the cupboards of any sugary treats. This could be chocolate, biscuits, packets of crisps, soft drinks, ice cream that's in the freezer. Don't make it too easy to grab something. If they're out of the house, you can't have them. Replace them with healthy snacks such as nuts, berries or fruit bowls so you can just grab as you go. Carrot sticks are always a good one to nibble on. Um, my personal favourite is chicken drumsticks I used to put a, an oven tray full in and they were there for the next couple of days if I fancied a snack, if I were craving anything I'd just grab a drumstick and eat and go. You want to feel fuller for longer so three to five meals throughout the day, three main meals and two healthy snacks mid-morning, afternoon that'll help you keep, him, keep fuller for longer. Add protein to every meal um, healthy proteins help balance blood sugar so you don't get those dips and spikes that cause sugar cravings. Breakfast is probably the hardest for people to change. People have a misconception that anything other than cereal or toast in a morning is too time consuming or takes too long to prepare. Most of us are on a tight schedule nowadays and only have a small window before we leave for work in the morning. If this is the case for you, make something easy and simple. For instance, when you're cooking your dinner the night before, boil up some eggs at the same time. These will be ready for the morning and you can add them with an avocado for a nice, healthy, protein-filled breakfast that will keep you fuller for longer and will probably take less time than waiting for the bread to spit out of the toaster. If you've got a little bit more time, have an omelette and add some greens. It's as simple as that. For lunches, people tend to go out and buy something and this is probably something like a sandwich which most likely comes with a meal deal such as chocolate, crisps and a soft drink or you might go out and buy a salad which has barely got any protein in it and won't keep you full for very long. The key to this is preparation. So that could be having leftovers from your dinner the evening before or something that you've prepared for the next couple of days that you can keep in your fridge or your freezer. If you take your food to work, you're less likely to go out and buy something that's unhealthy. For most people, an afternoon is when you crash and reach for those sweet treats. Whether that's somebody's birthday and they've brought the buns and the cakes in, or there's a charity bake sale, or you just want to leave your desk and venture off to the vending machine and grab a chocolate bar. Try to avoid these situations and always have healthy snacks on hand, and then you don't go into it with the mindset, oh, it's only this one. Always have them there, have nuts, berries, carrot sticks or the chicken drumsticks. Once you've got them there, you won't reach for the sweet treats. Dinner should be easy. You're home, you've no processed foods in your house, only healthy food. But you're tired, you want to put your feet up. That's fine, steak only takes a few minutes. 
steam some veg with it and you've got a nice healthy meal there within 15 minutes. Your other option is getting something that you prepared before out of the fridge and heating it up and you've got a meal ready there waiting for you. Finally, drink plenty of water. Sometimes it's not hunger you're feeling, it's thirst. Always have a glass on hand and avoid putting any juices or cordials in there. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any comments, leave them below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel here and check out our latest videos here.